Hello everyone, my name is Ishwar and in this video I will be showing you guys how you can use predefined profiles of palette tool in Creo software. So without any further delay, let us get started. So this is the interface of Creo software and go to the option first new and check this part body and click ok to it now select any plane and go for a sketch now to use predefined profile of creo software we need to look for palette tool so there it is so just click once and you will find four subsections and these are polygons profiles shape and stars so so we will start from polygon first and many times we have to draw hexagons to make any hexagonal nut or hexagonal bolt so to get the profile for your sketch what you need to do is just select this hexagon and press and hold your left button of mouse and drag it to the window area so as you can see after i dragged and dropped here i am getting this menu bar to edit this profile so i will keep this 100 instead of 62 or something once done click ok to it now we will go for profile and in profile area we will find C profile, I profile, L profile and T profile. So I will use this I profile. So as you can see I have already selected my I profile. I will press and hold my left button of mouse and I will drag in my window area. So again same thing. I got a menu bar where I can edit the dimension of this I section. So instead of 28 for point something, I will keep this one as 50 and once done, click OK to it. Now our third subsection is shapes and here if I will scroll down, I will find these are the profile that I can use for my sketch. So I will select this one cross again press and hold and drag to our window area same thing again I will keep this dimension as a 50 once done click OK and we have last subsection is a star so I will select this 9 star again same thing what I need to do is press and hold my left button of mouse and I will drag to my window area and I will keep this dimension as 30 so once done close it this one and close this option also so if you want to extrude this profile you can also do that just go to the option extrude and that's it you can give the x2 value also this is how we can draw the predefined profile in creo software using the palette tool so thanks for watching see you in the next video